On Wednesday, April 3rd, Pikeville High School's Jobs for America's graduate students officially opened their in-school store. Students in the program will have the opportunity to gain work experience while raising funds for the school. Everyone involved has prepared their best leading up to the store's opening. So the goal is open up before school, maybe 7.30, uh, open up A, B, lunch, junior high lunch, and then at 3 o'clock go for about 30 minutes after school. So that's how it's going to be set up in the, the concession stand. And I think it's going to go really good. We're going to be cash only right now and then eventually move to online and uh, move to hopefully they can use their cards in the future. And what's exciting about it is they all have a time slot they are allowed to work. Uh, so we'll have two or three people each uh, session that we trust with the money and know how the flow works and they'll be training more and more students for the future so everybody gets a chance to work. Appalachian Community Care offers outpatient medication assisted treatment for addiction, counseling and behavioral play therapy for children, accepting Medicare and all major insurance. Recovery is hard, regret is harder. Appalachian Community Care, Pikeville, Whitesburg, 606-432-5660. Find them on Facebook. Every student will work a certain shift, meaning the store will be open at different times during the day. In the future, they plan to add more items for sale. I feel like I'm learning so much that I'm going to use for the rest of my life. Just like talking to people, communicating, um, and life skills, like basic life skills. We want to sell other crew necks, sweatshirts, toboggans, pajama pants. We really want to just expand the store. We also, we have a class cup and we want to design t-shirts specifically for that. We want to sell popcorn, do icy like slushy type things. We're really excited. I just want to thank everybody for all their support and their help. Without all of the individuals that contributed all of their time and effort into this, it would not have been possible. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.